Hello, Mission Hills. I hope you're having a great start to another week. Um, speaking of this week, there are a few things I wanted to pass on to you. The first is, don't forget tomorrow evening at 6.30, 6.30 to 8 o'clock, we have another one of our just wonderful, glorious evenings of praise and prayer, worship and prayer. So be a part of that tomorrow night. We'll have an extended time of praising God through song as Frank and the band lead us. And then we'll have different um, prayer focuses that we'll spend time praying about in smaller groupings. And then also, as we do every single time we have a night of praise, we have an opportunity for you to be prayed for. And there'll be some chairs in the back and some of our ministry team will be there. If you'd like some personal prayer, you can be prayed for as well. And also a chance to um, partake in the Lord's Supper. So it's a beautiful, beautiful hour and a half. I'll be there. I look forward to seeing you, and that'll be tomorrow night, again, 6.30 to 8 o'clock. Then the other thing is, um, as you know, from this past Sunday, we've been announcing it. We're actually taking a bit of a break, a brief break, from our study in Genesis to focus on God's calling in our lives and God's empowerment in our lives to share Jesus with those that we come in contact with on a regular basis. Basically, the Monday to Saturday encounters with people. And those encounters we call our front lines, our spiritual front lines, where we're in the presence of people who don't yet know Jesus, which means they don't yet have life. And God's given us life so that we would share him as life to those that don't yet know him. So we'll be talking in the next six to eight weeks about how God's equipped us. And I'll give you some biblical foundations for that, some encouragement for that, but also some real practical tools of how it is that God can use you, sometimes in a moment, other times over a period of time, to bring Christ into the workplace, into your relationships at school, into your relationships where you live. So this will be a beautiful time together. That starts this coming Sunday, so don't miss the first week, okay? So tomorrow night, We've got a worship night, Sunday, fruitfulness on your front line. The other thing I wanted to mention to you is Kathy Alvarado, who's been serving as our early childhood development pastor. She's actually going to be retiring. I know what you're thinking. She's way too young to retire. I agree, but she's retiring anyway. So no, all joking aside, she's going to be uh, wrapping up her time here on our ministry team as the, uh, at the end of October. So we've got all of our bases covered through the remainder of the year, but I uh, just wanted to share that news with you. She and Juan make this their church home, so you'll see lots of Kathy. You might even see her more often now, <laughs> but uh, so they will be around. We do have, as I said a second ago, we've got everything lined up to cover the bases through the end of the year, and that gives us a little bit of time to find her replacement, which we hope to have in place as we start 2023. So that's that. It's already a great week, I'm sure, for you. I love you, praying for you. Uh, it's great being Mission Hills together. It's just a great community of faith, and I'm thankful that you are actually a part of it. Have a great day.